Today, I'm gonna to talk about the problem I have with heart rate monitors. I'm generally pretty happy with all heart rate monitors, chest strap monitors, armband monitors. I think they all work pretty well. I don't need a lot from it. I just needed to get an accurate tracing that it could send to my watch and the watch will record it. And for the most part, I'm really happy with this one, for example, the Polar H9, uh, with this one, which is a little bit cheaper of a model, the Wahoo Ticker. And I love this one, which is an armband model uh, from Polar, the OH1. And there's one problem that I still have with all of these though, and that's the batteries. I never know how much battery I have left in any of them, uh, whether I'm buying a 40 or $50 heart rate monitor or a $100 heart rate monitor. I don't know of a single heart rate monitor on the market that can tell you how much charge it has left. And that's just wildly infuriating to me in 2020 that we can't do that. And so today on this run, for example, uh, this heart rate monitor died on me. Now it gave me a warning yesterday during my bike ride yesterday that the battery sensor was low on this heart rate monitor. And I rode for about an hour and a half yesterday. And then by today, I I'm not sure if there was, I'm not even sure if I had any battery in it this morning by the time I started running. Uh, or if it died in the middle of the run. I was kind of in a rush this morning, so I probably didn't pay as close attention as I should have, but I definitely lost it. So at a certain point, like about uh, two miles into my run today, I stopped the activity thinking that maybe I didn't give it enough time to sync, sync up the heart rate monitor and the watch before I started the run. So I ended that activity and started a second one. But when I went to go start the second one, very clearly it wasn't picking up this heart rate monitor telling me that the battery had died. Now the way that you change the battery on these is pretty simple. Uh, for this style. And this is the way they've been making them for years. And so on the back, you just flip open this little tab and you take out like, it looks like a watch battery. Now let's see if I can get this open without a um, tool. All right, so I just snapped it open and then you take the watch battery out. Now these watch batteries are not like, I mean, I think you could probably get them at any convenience store. Um, but these days I'm trying not to go to convenience stores and stuff like that. So, uh, and I usually buy most of my stuff on Amazon anyway. So I'm trying trying to get this thing out of here, first of all, it is pretty tough. I can't get it out. Um, I didn't set this up for the camera either. I'm just really having a hard time getting it out. But I can't get this battery out. Oh gosh. Um, normally I think I use a set of keys to do it, but I don't have my keys near me. There we go. So I got the battery out, but I always kind of forget where I put these. So I have bought many, I used to buy like 10 packs of these thinking, oh, I just buy one and I'm good for a really long time, but I always lose them. This battery, in fact, it took me probably about 20 minutes of searching the house to try and figure out where I put it. So you take the thing off of there, you put it, the battery back in, um, and then uh, just snap it back down. Good. The batteries change. It didn't take very long, but if I hadn't already had this one battery here, or if I had lost it, like I normally do, um, I'd be without a heart rate monitor for several days. Even this Polar OH1, which what this is, it's an uh, optical sensor, like the ones that are on the back of like a watch, but uh, you can move it further up on the arm. Now, whenever I have a watch, I am never able to get a solid reading from the watch. I don't know if it's my skin tone or my wrist shape or I got I'm too bony or not bony enough or whatever. So uh, it just doesn't work for me. But this armband works fantastically for me. Um, and what I really like about this one is it charges by, it has a little cradle that it charges by USB. So I can kind of just top it up every couple of days and I'm good to go. 
The problem is even this, which costs twice as much or the, about the amount of the other two heart rate monitors I have combined, even this doesn't tell me how much battery life there is remaining. I'd like to see be able to see a battery beater on it somewhere in the Polar Flow app, the Polar Beat app, in the watch, I don't know, just somewhere. Let me know when I'm at like 50% or 25% so I can order another battery. Because I would really hate for it to die like in the middle of activity. For example, today, when it did die in the middle of activity, I still had heart rate tracing from the Polar Grit X on this watch and it was pulling it from my wrist. But the heart rate readings that it gave me were for the two mile activity was in the 150s. And for this, the other like 8.25 miles, cause I ran 11.12 miles total today. So the other 8.75 miles was 175 beats per minute on average, which is pretty close to my max heart rate. And I can't maintain that for, um, 8.75 miles. So it's clearly wrong. And okay, big deal, you have one data point that's wrong, or I guess two data points that are wrong if you count the two mile segment and the eight mile segment. But that also, if I'm using that kind of heart rate data in conjunction with things like stride or with heart rate training, uh, and I'm trying to figure out what are uh, my optimal paces and power thresholds that I should be using to train, having like one run that's at 175 for average heart rate, where the actual that I, I had the Koros uh, connected to the Polar OH1, that was averaged uh, 11.02 miles at 135 beats per minute. So it's quite a bit different and it's telling all my different fitness apps, very different information. One is telling me that I went for a nine minute, 20 second per mile average uh, easy run for 11 miles at a low heart rate, 135 beats per minute. The other is telling me that there's something seriously wrong, that I tried to run eight miles at 175 beats per minute and was only moving at nine minutes and 20 seconds per mile. So like it's, I think it's a big enough discrepancy that it could throw off some of kind of like the data that I'm supposed to have. Uh, and in terms of what my apps think my overall level of fitness is, uh, or how much detraining or training or recovery time that I need, all those other kinds of fancy metrics that a lot of these watches are putting in. Having that one really wrong, wrong data point, I think throws things off. If nothing else, it just really irks me. And it's something that could have really been easily avoided with, well, one, it did give me a warning yesterday, so I could have replaced it. But I also didn't know like how much time I had left. And the, I, this idea that knowing how much battery you have left before you're absolutely dead isn't like a completely frivolous one. On the Grit X, for example, when I start or I'm about to start an activity, the watch gives a calculation of how much GPS tracking time it has left in it. So Polar is recognizing that it needs some of this, but it's just not, no one's giving it to me. Polar, Wahoo, I, as far as anyone, I, and I don't know anyone that's doing it. I don't think Sunto does it either. I have a Sunto heart rate monitor back in Chicago. None of them are telling me how much battery life is left in the heart rate monitor. I think it's an easy fix. I hope that someone does it because that's the one that I'm gonna buy. As a second best option, I wish that all of them would move or revert to, or like convert over to a USB chargeable type of battery because then at least even if I don't know how full it is, I can just kind of guess or figure out kind of over time that yeah, every like four or five days I need to charge this thing. Um, and I could just like put something like this on a charger. I really wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, but like just having to put in a battery like once every couple of months and like, and someday random day, you just won't have heart rate data or you'll have really wrong heart rate data. I don't really like that. Maybe I'm making too much of a deal of it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is that something that you guys care about? I care a lot about it. It really bothers me, but I don't, it doesn't seem like it bothers a lot of other people. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I guess like a little bit of an old man rant about hating to change batteries, but <laughs> that's what's on my mind for today. Thanks everybody so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you guys on the next one.